In its 50 years of independence, India has constantly grappled with the complex propositions of a multi-religious polity. The inheritance of colonial rule and the partition of the country was a deep scar that has lacerated the fabric of this society. The scars have taken time to be healed. A good three decades after independence, perhaps even more, there was a very considerable problem of Hindu-Muslim tension, Hindu-Muslim variety. This was, however, a carryover from the events that had preceded the partition of India. And it, had, it was a carryover from the horrible rioting on communal lines that happened at the time of and immediately before and immediately after the partition. Fortunately for us, over a period of time, this problem has been receding. Communal violence still manages to raise its ugly head from time to time. Yet, fundamentalism is a challenge that the Indian people are confronting head on, battling the scourge of religious fanatics. The Indian population realize that solutions to the problems of democracy is more democracy. And it is in the mantra of the vote that almost a billion people find their checks and balances. The immediate past has shown that narrow majoritism is futile in the quest for power. In the process, the people themselves are realizing that the forces of cohesion that bond Indians into a nation are far stronger and complex than simplistic rhetoric of religious populism. As democracy succeeds in this particular country and the democracy goes down to the grassroots and others, the various identities will feel much more secure and will be voting irrespective of what you call their religious identities and others, which has already started happening. A new composite Indian identity in every region, every language area, every professional group and every class of people is emerging in response to the massive process of socio-economic transformation that is changing the face of India. It is a nexus that will carry the country forward to the new millennium.